Uncanny Valley is a pixelated survival horror adventure that wants to bring back the classic days of early survival horror titles while also creating something new and innovative. In Uncanny Valley, you play as security guard Tom, who's just been employed to watch over a remote facility during the night shift. Things don't go smoothly for Tom at his new job, and soon we find out that Tom has a troubled past as well. How the story unfolds, and what actually happens to Tom will be up to the player, as their actions form the story, which leads to many different outcomes and new situations other players won't experience. Based on your actions, such as completing objectives, the world will change. Side characters, or even Tom, could die, or suffer a fate even worse than death. We call this the Consequence System. Uncanny Valley's main location is the high-tech Melior facility and the surrounding areas. The player can explore the facility freely during his shift, which lasts seven minutes. After that, the player must return to his bed and sleep, or suffer consequences. Each day, the player is presented with an objective, and again, it's up to him or her whether or not to complete it. One of our main goals with the game is to have high interactivity. The player can access emails, interact with objects, enter every room, and even destroy objects inside those rooms. Uncanny Valley also features adventure elements. Frequently, you'll need to solve puzzles or figure out another way around, all of which have natural and unrestrictive solutions. However, the path forward won't always be easy, as you are not alone. When an enemy is nearby, the best thing to do is hide. If you are eventually spotted, beware, enemies are relentless. You can choose to fight back, though resources are very scarce meaning you won't be able to survive for long if your plan is to fight. Enemies patrol in random locations, meaning you always need to be careful. They can also hear very well, so tread lightly. The game also features a realistic damage system. You can take damage in any part of the body, which will hinder your progression. If your leg is broken, you are slower due to limping. If your hands are broken, you will not be able to use some items or push heavy objects. Taking damage to the stomach will cause heavy breathing, which leads to easier detection from enemies. You can temporarily fix your wounds by using medications, but again, resources are scarce. There are also bigger things you need to worry about. With Uncanny Valley, we're trying to make a unique, polished game with advanced mechanics, interactivity, and an immersive storyline with consequences, creating an unforgettable experience for both survival horror experts and newcomers. Welcome to Melior. <laughs>